Hey everyone. Hey you guys. I just wanted to come on here and show you this um, luxury body bisque collection by Bath & Body Works. I'm sure all of you are familiar with this. It's all over YouTube, all over the internet and on their website. This is a, a fragrance mist collection of 10 body mists. I just happen to have had uh, the opportunity to purchase 10, excuse me, 9. There's one that I wasn't really, um, uh, that I didn't really care too much for, so I didn't get it. And that's the one in the blue uh, color bottle. This is purple. So just going to go through these very quickly. I think this one is Old Cherry. Yeah, this is Old Cherry. Uh, by the way, you guys, some of these are supposed to be dupes. I think all of this, uh, this whole entire line is supposed to be dupes for different fragrances. But this is supposed to be relatable to Tom Ford's uh, Lost Cherry. So, um, uh, this one is kind of hard for me to read. Uh, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger so I can read the notes for you guys. So, it says on here, Black Cherry, Sheer Magnolia, and Takamine. This is the old cherry one. This is a very nice one um, if you are into cherry. It's not so tart, the cherry in this one. I don't think that this one smells like uh, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Uh, I don't think it's close to it, but I, I definitely think that you you know, you know can use it uh, if you're into uh, cherry notes and you want something that's uh, toned down a little bit. This is a very beautiful fragrance. Okay. The next one that I have is going to be this one right here. And this one is called, this is, yeah, this one is Petal Paradise. The bottles are luxurious, you guys. It's the same design for each bottle. It's just different colors. So this is Petal Par Par Paradise, excuse me. I just have to put the bottle down just to enlarge my camera a little bit, the screen. So this one is Neroli Petals, Orange Flower, and White Woods. This is a very nice one here as well. By the way, you guys, I have a cold, so I really can't, um, you know, I can't smell these. I, I, I lost my sense of smell, so I really don't know. I, I don't remember what this one is supposed to smell like, but this one is, they're all very good. I'm sure that most of you have gotten an opportunity to smell them, uh, but this is the Petal Paradise one. <laughs> okay. And don't worry, it's not the Rona. <laughs> I just I just caught a cold, unfortunately. This one is called Covered in Roses. And this one I know for a fact is a dupe for the Delina. It's not a spot on dupe, but it's it's very close. This is a very beautiful fragrance. Uh, this is Ruby Berries, Sugar Rosebuds, and Blush Amber. This is a very nice dupe to um Delita. I'm I'm not sure if it's supposed to mimic Delita the original or Delita exclusive, but this is very pretty. It's very pretty. A lot of people have been saying it smells like Delita. When I initially smelled it, I didn't think so, but over a period of time, it definitely does smell like a Delita. Um so uh you know if you're a Delita fan and you want something that you can layer it with that that it needs because you know I've 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 heard that Delita doesn't last very long. So if you wanted something to layer it with, you know, this is a very good um option right there because you can certainly, you know, um, you know, spray this as as much as you'd like, and then just put the Delita on top just to help kind of like help it uh become more concentrated and last longer throughout the day. So that's going to be covered in roses. Then the next one that I have, this one is Vanilla Vice. Excuse me, Viva Vanilla. I was thinking about uh, Sniff. This one is Vanilla Vice. Excuse me, Viva Vanilla. Uh, this one is supposed to be a dupe for the uh, Kayali Vanilla 28. So this one says Rich Plum, Glowy Amber, and Addicted Vanilla. Um, some people have also been comparing it to Sniff, the Vanilla Vibes, I think it's called. I, I don't have that one, so I'm not sure if it, if this is comparable to that, but this is a very nice vanilla scent. It, it's not, uh, similar to Warm Vanilla Sugar at all. It's a def definitely a different type of vanilla. Um, 
it's a vanilla that doesn't seem to be mixed with anything. It's like, it's not the pure vanilla um, essence that you use to cook with or anything or to like to bake. It's like, that's what I meant to bake with. But this is very, uh, this is a very nice vanilla scent. And this you can pretty much, you know, use to layer the rest of these fragrances with. You know, it, it it seems like this vanilla is one that would not clash with and the rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, fragrance mist in this collection. So, you know, I would definitely stock up on this. I think it's a very good buy, uh, and I think that is one that you can uh, certainly use to, like I said, to layer uh, other fragrances with. It's a very good vanilla, and I don't think it'll clash with anything. Just like uh, Vanilla Twenty Eight from Kiali. You know, a lot of people, if you're the type that likes to mix your fragrances, a lot of people, you know, on YouTube have mentioned that that's a good one that, you know, pretty much you can layer with, with most fragrances. So, um, you know, this is a very good uh, vanilla scent if, if you're into layering and, and combo combinations and stuff of that nature. Then the next one that I have is going to be this one. This one is, I think this is Pink Obsessed. This is Pink Obsessed. You guys, this is a beautiful fragrance. This is spot on. This is supposed to be a dupe for uh, Valentino Born and Roma. And I have to say, this is a, a, a very, very fantastic dupe for that. So this one has Blushy Jasmine, Cashmere Praline, and Vanilla Bourbon. This is, this is gorgeous, you guys. I have, um, I have four bottles of this one. I have four bottles of this uh, This one. This this makes five. So I have five of these in my collection. I purchased them when they were doing the body care um, sale. I went ahead and I purchased all of these. But I certainly went ahead and I, I had ordered them online. That's what I did. And they were shipped to my home. And um, I had purchased this one when they were doing the 40% sale. Um, and I had purchased it. I had purchased all of them, but I ended up returning them because I was like, it doesn't make any sense economically. But I did keep this one. This is one that I kept, and I just returned it and got it back for the price of the four ninety five because I had already ordered the rest of them, you know, uh, you know, online when they did the the, the five ninety five sale. So. Uh, this is the only one that I went ahead and and I hadn't returned this one because there was an issue with my receipt, so this one was left behind. So when when I went back to return it, I just exchanged it for the uh, the current price at that time, which was when they were doing their body sale. But yeah, this you guys is fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. If you don't have one in Roma in your collection or you can't afford it or whatever. <laughs> Again, if you want to use these body mists to layer on top of their, you know, um, the fragrances that they're supposed to be dupes for, I, I totally recommend it because these are very good. They they seem to be of very good quality. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, this one is called Floral Fantasy. This is supposed to be a dupe for, uh, if I remember correctly, this is supposed to be a dupe for Victor and Rolf, <laughs> Flower Bob. This is a very good dupe of Flower Bob. And this one has, it has um, peach, osmanthus, it has jasmine, and then it has warm patchouli. You guys, this is a very beautiful fragrance. This is a very nice dupe for uh, Flower Bob. So if you have Flower Bob and you want to, again, just spritz this on top of it or under it just to layer it, uh... You guys, you can't go wrong. I mean, every single mist in this collection, there's definitely something for, for everybody. I mean, there's more than just one thing here for everybody. There's there's so much to choose from. I was really excited when this collection came out because I did not know about it. And I just had to I just had to get my hands on it. And that's why I got all of them. But this is a very um it's a very pretty fragrance. This is it's very um feminine. This one here, this one is called Getaway Soiree. This is one of the more citrus one out of the entire line. Uh, so this one has Sunkissed Mandarin, Tuberose, and Solar Musk. Now, I don't remember which one this is supposed to be a dupe for. I'm not sure. And also, I have a cold, so I can't even smell it to even compare it to what I think it might be a dupe for. Uh, but, you know, if you like uh, fruity scents, you know, tangy scents, orange scents, this is a very, uh, very nice one. This one 
is Lost in Suntile. This is supposed to be a dupe for the um, Le Labo Suntile 33. Uh, this one has, let me see. Uh, sorry, you guys. This has warm cardamom, satin, sandalwood, and cedarwood. Uh, this is a close dupe. This is a very nice dupe. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to do, only because, you know, I know a lot of people don't like that heavy sandalwood scent, but this is a very nice fragrance. If you are familiar with the Le Labo line, I have Centile 33. Um, it's a very nice fragrance, but it's also a difficult fragrance, at least for me to wear, because it's heavy on the Centile. The sandalwood. This one isn't too heavy on the sandalwood. So if you wanted to try sandalwood, like you know, just a light version of it, definitely check this out. I think you're you're gonna definitely like this one. Um, you can wear it like warm summer nights or whatnot. You know, this is definitely something I would wear like during the nighttime. <laughs> and then the last one that I got is this one right here. This one is called If You Musk, and this one has iris. It has a pink, a pepper. And then it has airy musk. Now, this one is supposed to be a dupe for a fragrance that Bath & Body Works came out with a few years ago. It was called Kaleidoscope. I don't know if some of you got an opportunity to actually experience that fragrance. I had it. And uh, it's sort of like, it reminded me of like a Glossier U. One of those type of fragrances, if you will. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. But what happened was I ended up returning it. I don't know why I returned it. There was something about it that just kind of like turned my stomach a little bit. So I returned it. But this is reminds me exactly of it. It definitely has the DNA of it. And it's not so heavy. It's not too pronounced. So if you remember that fragrance and you also, like me, thought it was just a little too heavy or there was something in it that bothered you, I think that you definitely will enjoy this. If You Must is a very, very pretty scent. I think this is going to do very well for like the winter time as well. as This This is one that you can, you know, you can wear throughout the year because it just, you know, it, it it's not heavy. And you could wear it for the winter, summer, spring, fall. It, it's a very nice, pretty fragrance, as Kaleidoscope was, but it was just too much for me. So definitely check this one out. Uh, I think you you will definitely enjoy it, and maybe even more so than the, origi the original uh, Kaleidoscope that Bath & Body Works came out with uh, years ago. So yeah, this is the entire collection, you guys. I'm so excited about it. Um, the only one that I don't have is the blue one. I think that one is called On the Horizon. Um... Was it really too crazy about that one? There's something in it. I don't know. Maybe I'll retry it again and, you know, just see how it fares on my skin. But that's the only one that I didn't get. So I got, I have four bottles of all of these, except I don't have this one. I don't have four in this one. And um, the If You Musk, I also don't have four in it. Um, and then, like I said, Pink obsessed i have uh five that's the only one that i have five because i kept uh the original uh, one of them that i was trying to return so all of these i have four bottles of each i just i just was so exciting when i went to my store and i was able to try all of them i just didn't want them to sell out and i didn't and not have backups so i went ahead and purchased um you know backups of all of them so yeah, definitely check them out, you guys. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. I think there's something in here for everybody to try. Um, you know, uh, I think you'll enjoy most of them because they, they all smell very good. They all smell very good. Um, and I think the On the Horizon, one, the blue one, it also smelled very good. It was just something about it. It was my least favorite. That's why I didn't get it. But I may go back and I'm trying to get it. And I'm definitely going to get, you know, um, another bottle for the ones that I don't have uh, four of. But yeah, I just wanted to come out of here very quickly just to show you guys, uh, give you guys familiarity with the uh, with the new collection. It's still on um, Bath & Body Works website. I think it's buy three, get three free. I think that's the promotion that they're going for right now. So, But um, definitely for the summer end sale, if you want to check these out or get them, I don't know if they're going to be available, uh, obviously. But uh, definitely get into your stores and, and check them out. I think that you guys will definitely enjoy enjoy all of them. All right, or at least pick up a few. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna try and get over this cold, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye.